to the bench. Redskins first down at the Eagle 21. Again, the Eagles still blitz. This is Brooks to the 20. Picked up a couple. Clyde Simmons. Around his feet. The defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles is Bud Carson, who's been one of the top defensive coordinators in this league. Seems like forever. I remember back in the days of Pittsburgh Steelers when he was a defensive coordinator, then with the Rams, and here with the Eagles. And one thing about Bud, he'll mix those defenses up, keep mixing them up, and if you find something you can't block, he'll give it to you all day. You'll get another dose and another dose until you do block it. The blitz. Conklin going deep to the corner at McGee. Just missed him. I'll tell you, Conklin seems to be handling things pretty well. On that play, he got knocked down by Mike Flores just as he threw the ball. But I think Conklin has pretty good poise. He's aware. He's seeing things. He's audibleizing. And the Eagles are really giving them the ultimate test. I mean, they're changing defenses every time. They're changing people. They're they're blitzing, blitzing corners, safeties, linebackers. They're throwing the whole defensive package at them. 97, Kim Harris, speaking of the whole defensive package. He's got a bad elbow, but he's coming on a rush, and he got close to that's by now, however. Bouncing close to a first down. And the Eagle defense is really giving Conklin, or Conklin is taking advantage of it, but he's getting confidence. You can just see the way he throws, the way he carries himself. Now he knows he can get a little protection and throw the ball and get it out there. You can just feel Kerry Conklin getting confidence in this game on this drive. He seemed very calm and collected last night when we talked to him. Very sure of himself. Very comfortable with the system. The one thing that he didn't know and his coaches didn't know is, you know, how's he going to do in the game? Right. Four McGee, touchdown. Tim McGee. He's a guy who felt he hadn't been involved in enough of the offensive schemes, but now he is. And Richie Pettibone told us last night that Reggie Brooks was going to be the runner, and he wanted to get the ball more to Tim McGee. Here he does. That's a corner pattern. McGee runs to the inside. Again, that's the second play that the Eagles have really dropped their coverage on. You run to the inside like you're going to the post. They bite to the inside, and then boom, you go right back to the corner. Eilers will hold a new holder. Seven three. Redskins lead it. Nine sixteen left to play in the first half. Washington up by four points. Touchdown, to McGee. There's Tim McGee, and here's a pattern he runs. You see him here. Here's Mark McMillan. He's going to come up and go like he's going to the post, and then he's going to go back to the corner. That's called a corner route or a post corner. But you watch, when he comes in and he fakes right there into the post, we can stop it right there. You can see that McMillan fell down when he gave him that post move. Low Miller's kick deep into the end zone, down by Seidner. Leonard Renfro, the injured eagle a few moments ago, has a bad back, bruised back. Should be should be able to be back in the lineup very shortly. Here's how he got hurt. Just landed on his back. Don't forget he weighs 300 pounds. And that's a lot landing on the back. But he has a big back to land on. funny in this game the, the Eagles you know talked about wanting to, to to get ahead you know wanting to keep Washington in long yardage situations make the Redskins play uphill 
the Redskins didn't want to do that, and they've been able to stay out of that. They've been able to stay out of long yardage situations. They've been Nine, successful 11, in picking up third clock. downs, and now they have the lead. Washington has the edge in total offense, 137 yards the Redskins have picked up, 72 for Philadelphia. First and 15, Hebron is back in the backfield for the Eagles. Cunningham for Herschel Walker, first down. Walker out of the backfield doing really handling a role that he had when he was way back in Dallas when he was doing everything. And Cunningham, Minnesota. Cunningham, he just sees him, he sees Kurt Govay on him, 54, and he just lobs it in there. He wasn't throwing it as much to Herschel as he was throwing it over Govea's head. You see, he's watching all the way, he sees Govea, he knows that Herschel can get behind him, and he just lobs it, just lobs it right over number 54 and right into Herschel Walker's hands. Because he knew once Herschel Walker got by Kurt Govea that there was going to be an opening there before he got to the safety. That's Monty Coleman, number 51, the veteran Redskin linebacker. And that's a tough situation because Monty Coleman was playing for the injured Andre Collins. You can see right there, Mark Bavara was on the ground. And as he was going down, he just cut Monty Coleman. I don't even think Monty Coleman saw Mark Bavaro down there. Just tripped over him. Hand off is to Heath Sherman. And the ball might be loose. Redskins are certainly saying they got it. A lot of enthusiasm. You see Govea there, <laughs> 54. He was on his back. He doesn't see anything. He's just pointing, but he was pointing in the right way, and he was right. Redskin ball. Yeah, Richie Pettibone is the head coach of this Washington Redskin team, but he is also still the defensive coordinator. And I'll tell you, he always gets his guys in the right place. That ball was just knocked out of there before he ever went down. We asked him last night what he said to the offense. He said, I tell him to play hard and have fun. Yeah, and, and Govea is explaining to him how he recovered he, he recovered that ball with his feet. That ball, he had that ball between his ankles. First down, Washington at the Eagle 34. Hoglund going to work quick. That's Ricky Sanders wide open touchdown, Washington. They brought a guy in here who never started an NFL game in his life. He's starting his first one today, and he is taking over this game, and the Eagles are giving him a heck of a lot of confidence. Watch it. We'll just watch Sanders is just going to come across the field. We see it starts off with a little play fake, the counter tray. We can stop it right here. We see that that holds everything here. That play actually holds everything. Here's Sanders here. See, he was able to come across the field, get in behind him. Conklin sees it, holds him, throws a perfect pass in there to Ricky Sanders. Everyone up front was held so Sanders could get in behind him. Low Miller's extra point is good, so it's 14 to 3. Boy, you're right, that play fake is what really opened up the middle of the field. Uh, and it was that counter tray, you know, yep. the one where they pull the guard and tackle and the Redskins run that so much that the minute you see that, everyone wants to hit it. See, if we look at the at the at the play action fake and and you see once this front group sees this they're all going to start move see you give them a little motion they get a little adjustment now you watch the guard pull to the left and the back go in there that held everyone because they see the pull they see the fake to the running back they all jump on it and sanders just sneaks in behind them well they've been looking at that play so long the Redskins run it better perhaps than anyone else. Going back to John Riggins, it's something you just have to respect if you're on defense. Ricky Sanders explaining his move and all his move was that he just ran across the field. Richie Pettibone is looking at that thing. Now he has every defense there that he could possibly have. Now he has two sheets of it. Oh, now, now Larry Pecatello is upside and he has the same thing. 
See, now when you get it tangled up, you got some 